Hello and welcome to Look East. The dragon clock on its way from Cambridge to China. Now, if you've been to Cambridge, uh, you've probably seen uh, the Chronophage, uh, the time-eating clock on the side of Corpus Christi College. It's been there since 2008, and now its maker, Dr John Taylor, has built another, complete with a time-eating dragon. This one is destined for China. A clock that not only tells you the time, it has a taste for time. It claws away at it. Every second, every minute, every single moment swallowed whole. It's a chronophage, it's a time eater. And so that if you watch the, the dial, and it's uh, coming up now to 10 seconds to the end of the minute, the dragon has opened her jaws, she'll go snap, and her spines go, and then her tail goes, and she's swallowed that minute, and you can never get it back. <laughs> a precious timepiece plated in 24 karat gold. Three meters high, worth more than three million pounds. It's one of a family of three. This one a dragon, the first a grasshopper. Seven years old, the Corpus Christi clock in Cambridge draws tourists in. Since it was unveiled, tens of thousands of tourists have stopped on this corner and stood and stared as that grasshopper grafted away. The clock maker, Dr John Taylor. He made a fortune inventing the cordless kettle. Now he has time to play with. I had to find a new way of actually showing time. And what better than to have time racing away around the dial rather than just static. Uh, time does race away, and when you're 78, it's not on your side. A Chinese dragon soon to be sold in China. A clock with a ravenous appetite for time. Nourishment that will never run out. What's better than a Chinese gong to giving you the time? Mike Cartwright, BBC Look East, Cambridge.